Now for the next verse. Let's play along with it, and then I'll show you what he's doing. <laughs> I'm trying to listen to this and, and do it at the same time. He starts out, it sounds like he's just getting the bass note, third fret of the sixth string, which would be a G. Kind of lets that hang and then throws in a quick chop on the G6. And then he's going to slide. I'm not sure where he's starting it from. He's basically taking the second position ninth chord, and it could be going from a D ninth to an A ninth or a C ninth. Do a D9. You listen to it and see what you think. Depends on how fast you slide, but he slides to that. And then he's going to slide into a C7, but he's doing that D chord shape. And this is a C7 bar chord. He's doing that C7 that I showed you at the beginning. At first, I thought he had the pinky on the 10th fret, but it sounds more when I listen to it again like he doesn't. Just playing that C7 there. You could play a bar chord. I don't think that's it though. I think he's playing that D shape. And then he's going to, I can't tell if he goes back down here and plays that C9. A couple vamps there. And then he's going to slide to a G. Second, or a second position G bar chord, just the bottom top part of it. And it sounds like he's got his finger, maybe his first finger, on the 11th fret and slides it to the 12th fret on the top three strings. And then he's going to take his pinky probably and put it on the 15th fret of the first string. So it's like this. You hear that in the tune. So he's sliding in to the G, or an A ninth, you could call it. And he comes back down to the G6. Then he does this D ninth from E flat ninth to D ninth. He does that little chop. Whoops. Do that again. So. Can't remember where exactly in the timing he throws that in, but that's another G six chord. And he just kind of leaves hanging there. So let's slowly go back through that. It probably confused the bejeebers out of you, but this is this is what I think he's playing. So he starts out bass G6. the next verse of Howlin' Wolf's Everybody's in the Mood at first. Let me play it for you one time. So he starts out, I'm just going to just kind of show it to you. I'm, I'm not going to try to get all the timing stuff with the song, but just show you what he's doing. So in this verse, he starts out with a... Just doing some bamps on the G6 chord. And then he does a trademark Willie Johnson thing where he goes from the G here, G major or G6, to a G9. And so he's playing... So he starts out. And does that 
chord on the G9. Sounds like he's playing that rhythm. And then back to the C9. And then do a G6. And then he slides back in to the D9 from the E flat. Ninth. So we're using that same second position ninth chord shape. So as Howlin' Wolf is singing, he's just doing these little... The difference at this verse, instead of just letting this hang, I should have shown you this, he does this little chord turnaround. I hear is a G6, C major, like a bar chord, back to the G6, and then a D7, so it's a C7 shape, with my ring finger on the 5th fret of the 5th string. So one more time, that chord turn around, and that's what I hear him doing. So a lot of the same stuff, the 6th chord, the ninth. Just used in different ways. Now we got one more chord verse, and then we get into the single string stuff. Before we move into the next verse, I forgot something at the end of that last verse. And right when he's doing the turnaround, he does something like this. So, um, Let's see, where was he at? He does the chord. It sounds like he does a hammer-on from the 3rd fret of the 2nd string to the 5th fret. Before he does that turnaround. Just kind of an odd, odd thing he does. So from the 5... see what you think he's doing there, but I think that just kind of throwing in that little hammer on there. Let's listen to it. Forward. He's just playing this. So he's just playing the chords and he's doing a couple little tricks. One thing he does differently with that first G chord. Just, just a kind of a quick G9. So this G9 shape on the 10th fret with the ring finger on the 10th fret. Then he does this again where he slides from the C to the D and into the G6 chord. And then he does this where he goes from the G6 to the F sharp 6 before he slides into the D9. This is cool stuff. So it's... So those little chord slide tricks, so how do you get from the 1 to the 5? Well, you could just do this. Or you could do this. A little more, a little more interesting. So that is the last verse with chords, and from this point on, we're going to work on the single string stuff.